Welcome back everyone on this Friday. The time right now is coming up on about 1238 and a lot of us are walking outside pretty soon and it's going to be awfully hot. It's going to hit you like a wall. You don't really expect temperatures in the middle and upper 80s in April, but this is what we have for today. We're in a pretty warm weather pattern. Temperatures right now across the area, we're looking at 83 degrees in Springfield. A little bit of a breeze coming in out of the east northeast at about 5 miles per hour, and the relative humidity is down low, so it's a pretty dry air. If we were in this pattern in, say, July or August, it would definitely be awfully humid out there. So you'll definitely want to get outside today and enjoy the warmer weather without the humidity that we'll see over the summer, most likely. Temperatures across southern New England, we're sitting at 86 right now over in Hartford, a little bit cooler along the shoreline in Connecticut at 75 in New Haven and 80 degrees right now over in Pittsfield. Satellite and radar right now we have a few high thin clouds but they're beginning to break up as an area of high pressure begins to work into our area and we will see that continue as we push the rest of the day today. We're watching a couple of different storm systems that are going to bring us a little bit of some unsettled weather as we head towards the weekend in the beginning of next week. We have an area of low pressure along the Great Lakes states or the, the Gulf states I should say and that's going to be moving up the eastern seaboard and giving us a little bit of some scattered showers heading into Saturday night and into Sunday and then a little bit more of a robust system off to our west, which looks to bring in some more substantial and soaking rainfall. So that's going to be our next main weather maker. We're going to see some periods of rain happening on Monday, mainly around noontime and beyond. And then we are going to see turn a little bit cooler and breezy, especially once that cold front passes through. Now we are going to shatter another record today. Most likely we already have beat it. We're sitting at a high of we're already sitting at a temperature of 86. So we're looking at we have already beaten this record from Westover. 79 was the previous record set back in 1968, and we're forecasting a high of 90 today. Now this warm weather pattern that we're sitting in right now, we have a, a strong ridge building into our area and we have the jet stream well off to our north, but you can see in the west coast, you see there's a trough there or a dip in the jet stream. So they're a little bit on the cooler side of this pattern. Now as we push through the rest of the weekend and into next week, we're going to start to see that dip in the jet stream move across the northeast and we are going to be in a little bit of a cooler weather pattern as we head into next week. A little bit more seasonable, I should say as well. Temperatures are going to trend just slightly above normal. Our average high for this time of year is about 58 to 60 degrees and we'll just be about five degrees above that. So after we head through today, we'll start to see temperatures falling down into the 70s and then down into the 60s as we head towards Sunday and Monday, and then we'll return to seasonable heading into Tuesday and Wednesday. In terms of precipitation, we are actually leaning in a little bit more of a drier than normal direction. And right now we are looking at uh, the drought. We don't have a drought right now, but yesterday, last year, we did have a substantial drought in our area, and we can see a little bit of some abnormally dry conditions kind of creeping up the eastern seaboard up towards western mass, but we're not even in that yet. We, so we definitely want to welcome the rain that we're getting because we don't want to see ourselves back in what we were look, dealing with last year. In the long run, though, we are looking at some temperatures getting into the 70s, cooler as we head towards the weekend. We do have a little bit of an unsettled pattern heading into the weekend and into your day on Monday for Patriots Day. Temperatures will be in the 60s, and then we turn dry and seasonable as we head towards the middle and next portions of the middle and next portion of the next week.